Who am I? I am Nisham. Nisham Wooden. Nisham Benjamin Wooden, actually. That's my full name. And I... Who I've worn many hats. Uh, I've been a drag queen. I've been an actor. Hmm. What you got there? I knew all night that something was gonna happen. I've been a pop star. I've been a lot of things. Show business. Hey guys, Shaquita here. Now, the incredible Mona Foot was the original host of Star Search at Barracuda. We would pack it in every Thursday just to watch her wig fall off and see her get completely bored with the contestants and sometimes just push them off the stage. Fast forward to her asking me to take over as the host of the show and I was not only flattered, but I was frightened. She was a big girl. I love you, Mona Foot. When Mona Foot would perform, I would get so happy. I'll never forget when Nisham carried me out on his shoulders at my book park. He was a bright light that lit up the room anywhere he went. He was kind and beautiful and loved by so many, and I miss him so much. Nisham, in a few words, efficient, prolific, and quick-witted. One in a million. Like Wonder Woman, wonderful. My friend was wonderful. There's really no other way to put it. Classic monofoot, ridiculous, outstanding, and something you'll never forget. He was a creative genius. He was so loving, heart of gold, handsomest man I've ever seen in my life, and just an incredible talent. I'll forever miss that man. I mean, no one's ever made me laugh so hard. I miss you so much, Nash. That was the magic of Nisham. Within one breath, a small moment become a lasting memory. One quick snip, one hilarious comeback, one bluntly honest remark could be seared into your head and your heart for good those ones where you can still hear his voice in the moment. Nisham is amazing. Nisham is our sister. Nisham is New York. Nisham is New York, personified. She will always be one of the queens, a colored girl, a black in arms, doing the do, fighting not only the good fight, but being the cunt. Why? Because she can, darling and you can't take it. Nisham, Nisham, Nisham. I had to have my eyeglass wear on point. Sunglasses were her thing, honey, my sister. Nisham um, was always fun. Always had a great line, a great sarcastic remark, um, or great observation. And um, Mona Foote was, a, you know, entirely um, a star. When I moved to New York City in 1992, <clears throat> stop doing the math, Mona Foote was a huge drag star already. And when Mona started hosting Star Search at Crowbar in the East Village, that was one of the first places I ever performed and started to build a career, if you will. It's all her fault. It's all her fault. 30 years later. Well, anyway, one night, and I mean, it had to have been 25 years ago at least, Mona came up to me. She's like, Sherry Vine, you're a man. And I fell on the floor laughing so hard, and it kind of became our thing. And literally, every single time I saw Mona Arnasham for the next 25 years, every time, She'd be like, Sherry Vine, you're a man. And I would fall on the floor. I met Nisham at the boy bar when he was 17 years old. We met on the dance floor watching the show. We talked about how amazing the show was and we ran into each other weeks after and continued talking about how amazing the shows were. And within months, he managed to make his way onto the stage 
and the character Mona Foot was born. Last time the Sham and I just hung out in like Queens. She was working the door at the cop. It was like an off night, no one was there. We just hung out. I was in the East Village and I was like, you know, let me just go and see a sis. And we just hung out there and did the national black girl colored queen pastime, reading and carrying on at the door. Me, her, a couple of other good friends and a real good time for the real good queen. Just being shady, just being fierce. I first met Nisham back in the late 80s as Mona Foot, and um, I think I was there the very first time he ever stepped foot on that boy bar stage. And from that night on, he always brought the house down. And uh, it was great to see him blossom over the years from a sort of cartoony drag character to this sort of super vixen, Wonder Woman drag superstar. And then, you know, of course, underneath all of that, he was just um, gorgeous Nisham, singer of the ones and a very sweet, talented guy. Okay, so my funny story about Nisham, of course, I have millions of them. We used to act ridiculous all the time and read everyone, which is, of course, his MO. But, um, you know, he loved Halloween and, uh, you know, he dressed up as Rick James a few times. And of course it was amazing and spot on. And everyone was like, oh, your outfit, your, your, your costume is so amazing. Where'd you get it? And he was like, these are my clothes. I met Nisham over 30 years ago at Boy Bar. She came out on stage, didn't realize she was only 17 years old, uh, barefoot with a blonde wig and some serious white lipstick and did an Aretha Franklin song. She killed it and we were all like, well, look at her, who the heck is that? Lo and behold, how many years later, um, we were in the ones together. My name is Joe Dramarico and I am one of the ones and I had the honor and was blessed to have known Nisham for so many years, worked with her at Pat Fields, did shows with her at Squeeze Box, which led us to Flawless, The Ones, and then, you know, the endless Mona Foot stories. What a genius. I just have to say, we, lift, we love you, we miss you, and it was my pleasure to share some of the most amazing moments of my life with my girlfriend, Mona Nisham Wooden. Love you, girl. Working with Nisham and the Ones was amazing. He, Jojo, and I traveled a lot around Europe and we were like, you know, the dynamic trio, right, I guess. Um, so many stories, so amazing. The ones, what can I say? And she said, you should have these. Chloe, gorgeous, they look like gazelles. She told me that I should just, she told me that I should believe in myself more because I'm worth it and I knew that. She knew that too. She wasn't telling me something new. She was telling me something I already knew and she wanted me to believe in it too, even more. She saw it. She saw me. The funniest moments with Nishan would always be the lights up four in the morning at the cock and him telling everyone to get the fuck out. 
<laughs> it just, as nice as he was ever trying to be, people were always still getting their things going. And he's just like, you had all night to get this shit done. If he didn't do it then, he's not going to do it now. Get out. Literally. <laughs> Anyways, I missed them both. Nishan was great. Mona Foot was hysterical. And um, I really um, haven't come to terms yet with Nisham being gone because of this whole weird pandemic thing. I keep thinking that once this is over, I'll just go to the cock or see Nisham again on the street. But um, not to be. Nisham, we miss you. Come back, please. Much love, much love to the amazing Mona Foot and the sweet Nisham. Nisham. Nisham was one of my favorite people, period. Nisham was one of my favorite people to run into on the street and have a high key key with. He was one of my favorite people to talk to and engage with because he is a lyrical genius, smart, funny, Smart and funny in an almost supernatural kind of way. There are people, I often say, that are made of magic, touched by the divine. That was certainly Nisham. He traveled with a orb around him, a light. He was so smart and funny and quick that it was almost unfair to the people around him. His words were kind and loving as much as they were cutting. But when they were cutting, like when he read you, is because he loved you. Him giving you attention with his words was the way that he embraced you. I think of him often. I think of him every day, actually. I believe he's my guardian angel watching over me, most likely laughing at me. He made fun of me a lot. Um, Love you, Nisham. Naturally, your entrance is grand. Red carpet rolls out on the side they stand, worshiping you like a goddess, like a goddess. Somehow, you remain modest. Flashbulbs pop, paparazzi goes wild with amazing grace. You walk and smile. They answer to your beck and call. You're flawless. After all, overqualified for the position of your dreams. See fruition, me a class on a higher plane. Everyone wants to know your name. Just like perfection. Needs no correction. Like no other. Absolutely. Just like perfection. Needs no correction. Like no other. Absolutely flawless. Bitch. It's America's least wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard your tired pussy was on sale at the International House of Fun. Yeah, with your mama, bitch. Oh, you miss Take it to the street. Get off of me. 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 Get off of Oh, girl. You still got it, though, honey. Still there. <laughs> Work. I did that.